You know, if you're struggling with your gut and you have massive issues and you just don't know where to start, then getting your zonulin levels tested is a great way to begin the process because zonulin is a great marker not just for leaky gut but also for chronic inflammatory diseases. Now understand that zonulin is this protein that your body produces and it works like a sticky glue. Basically it holds together the gut villi. Now let me give you an analogy. Imagine your gut uh, is laid out in front of you like this carpet, okay? You know just like the carpet has these bristle like fibers same way, your gut has these villi, they're called villi, and their main job is two things. Number one, absorption of nutrients, so you get all the, you know, the best out of the food you're eating, the supplements that you're eating, and second is protection, or it works like a barrier from the nasty things getting into your bloodstream. Now imagine zonulin is this thick fiber or the stitches that hold together the carpet, you know, the bristles are all held together with this thick fiber down. Now, if the, these stitches are nice and tight or the villi are held together properly with zonulin, then the absorption of nutrients is obviously proper and the toxins don't reach your bloodstream, right? It's the same way how tight stitches prevent the floor beneath from getting dirty. Now, if the stitches are loose, your carpet's like worn out, it's been, you know, there for too long or whatever, then the dirt easily passes through and reaches the floor, right? Now, there's a lot of research which concludes that when you eat foods which are inflammatory, the stuff that triggers your gut, the stuff that I keep talking about, gluten, dairy, sugar, too much lentils, everyone's different, right? But if you keep eating stuff which constantly triggers your gut, now, what happens is that the production of zonulin increases and these elevated levels cause a whole lot of havoc because those tight junctions now loosen up because of excess zonulin and that opens up the junctions between the villi. And then the nutrients, instead of being absorbed, are released without absorption. And this is what we call a leaky gut. Now, getting a sedum zonulin test is easy, but it's expensive. It costs almost like 18,000 uh, rupees at a lot of labs. Um, so the thing is, you don't always have to do a test. Sometimes you know the symptoms are there, so you know the problem is already there. But if you can afford it and you're happy to invest in it, then why not? Just remember that there's an optimal reference range, range for this by NCBI and that is between 22.3 to 161.1 NG per ml. I hope this helps and if you have any questions as usual post them below, I'll take them up later.